ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕಿಕ ಕೇಸರಿ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯವರ್ಗೋ ಮೇ ಸನ್ನಿದತ್ತ ಸದಾ ಹೃದಯ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸರಂಗಪರಕಾಲಮುಣಿತ್ರಯಾಪ್ತಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಾತ್ಮರಕ್ಷಣೈತ್ಯುಗಾಗಮ
the worldly pleasure that you want the aishwaryam that you are looking for the position the power the the children the wealth the mangalams the peace the blissful as well as the the getting rid of any more birth and death the moksha samrajyam everything can be obtained by vishnu sagasnama it is accepted by everyone that it is the easiest and successful means of attainment of these goals and of course it is exactly in conformance with bhagavad gita it is completely in accordance with bhagavad gita because gita was narrated by krishna to arjuna here krishna is the witness sakshi he was listening to vishnu sagasnama as bhishma was telling yudhishthira in the battlefield and bhishma was was on the sharadalpam he was on the bed of arrows he was going to die in the uttarayana punya kalam he was already on the bed of arrows in dakshinayana punya kalam dakshinayana punya kalam is before january before tai masa 6 months and from january next 6 months is uttarayana punya kalam which is punya kalam so if if a, if the jivatma passes away from the body in uttarayana punya kalam it is supposed to attain moksha that is for the bhakti yogi people who are who are constantly uninterruptedly contemplating on parmal on vishnu if they die in uttarayana punya kalam they attain the lotus feet of shri manarayana go to shri vaikuntha and but and bhishma was on the bed of arrows and that's when that's when our krishna was telling yudhishthira in fact even vedavyasa mentions the same to yudhishthira because vedavyasa because bhishma is recognized as the most most valuable most knowledgeable most trustworthy person vedavyasa mentions to dharmaraja the yudhishthira to go to bhishma for instruction in the, in the in the in the words in the exact stotram he says oh mighty king yudhishthira if you want to know about dharmas all dharmas whether it is raja dharmam or kshatriya dharmam or moksha dharmam whatever dharmas that you need go to your grandfather bhishma he is the grand sire of all kauravas and pandavas he is always wise he is a jnani he is an ardent devotee of vishnu he knows the essential truth he knows the tatva he knows the way he knows the goal he knows the destination he knows exactly he is the noble son of river ganga and he will resolve he will clarify all doubts for you and he has seen he has helped devas in the in the fight in the battle and he will remove all your doubts he knows he knows subtle matters he knows spiritual matters he knows whatever confusion that you have and he has he has talked to he has talked to devendra agni vayu varuna all those devas in 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 all assembly where bhishma is present there is always ala ala by the by the side of him around him there are rishis waiting to hear from bhishma because bhishma was such a jnani he is a great knower of all dharmas whether it is spiritual or subtle or mystic whatever he will instruct you of all dharma veda vyasa had mentioned to yudhishthira before and yudhishthira had gone and asked about yuga dharma kshatriya dharma raja dharma all those things he had heard before from his grandfather it's not the first time several times he had asked questions and he got the answers in fact even supreme lord shri krishna mentions to yudhishthira telling yudhishthira to go to bhishma go he is going to die soon bhishma is on the bed of arrows and he is like a fire slowly cooling down he is contemplating on vishnu my mind always goes to him because he is my ardent darling devotee he knows the ayudam he knows the chakra chakra ayudam i am now one with him 
I am going to take him to my abode soon. Uh, he knows the past, he knows the present, he knows the future, he knows everything. He is a jnani. So it's bet- best you go and seek the final, final verdict from him, final advice from him. Whatever questions you have, ask him. Go. Suppose somebody comes and tells that your your uh, great grandmother or grandfather mother is he who knows how to cook some your favorite dish, and you want to know the recipe for that, and he or she is in ICU, you will not go and disturb him in the ICU. Come on, please teach me that recipe. I want to learn. But here Yudhishthira is going to him who is on the bed of bed of arrows. And going to ask him question, and of course Bhishma, in spite of his suffering, who is on the bed of arrows, he is fully vibrant and energetic to narrate the Vishnu Sagasnama, to narrate the answer for the questions raised by raised by Bhishma, sorry raised by Yudhishthira. Even Narada says Bhishma knows fully all the dharmas of four varnas. She tell him all your doubts and get them cleared. Narada also praised Bhishma as one of the great sages, one of the great visionaries who had attained the vision of God because of his association with and kankaryam to the service to the rishis and the elders. And he was a celibate. He was a brahmachari. He was having. He was doing tapas. He was constantly contemplating on Krishna. He blessed Narada. Also blessed Bhishma and directed him to expound to the listeners not only the ultimate truth, not only about the God, also about the Dharma. So the the code of conduct, the rules of conduct, the practicality of life. So Bhishma has already received the blessings from Vyasa, Krishna, Sage Narada, and also his mother Ganga. Everybody, and hence. Bishma says, Bishma himself says, "Oh Govinda, because of your blessings, I see that I see like a like a fruit in my palm. If you keep a fruit on your palm, everybody can see very nicely because it is open and people can see. Similarly, people I can see you. I can see who are you. I I see that your 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 gift is present in my mind all the time." That I am able to understand you. So such a Bhishma is now introducing the answers to our Yudhishthira, and that's the that's the one which we are going to narrate and explain the questions in detail in this. So here Yudhishthira was asking questions. Yudhishthira vacha. Kime kam deva tam loke. He asked six questions. Kime kam deva tam loke. First question. Kim va pye kam parayanam. Second question. Stuvan takham. Third question. Kamar chandaha prapnu yur manava shubham. Fourth question. Ko dharma sarva dharmana bavata paramo mataha. Fifth question. Kim japan muchate jantur janma samsara bandanat. Six questions. So these were the six questions asked by Yudhishthira in that. So they also say punare vyabhashata. Again, Yudhishthira asked question. Why again? Because he had asked questions in his lifetime before to Yudhist to Bhishma, and again he went and asked these questions. And if you if you notice these questions, when I am going to tell that these questions are very generic, they are not asking questions like. Can you tell the good qualities of Madhva Kanna? Can you tell the 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 auspicious attributes of Madhva Kanna? Can you tell any anything good about the habits of him? If the questions are asked, naturally the responder will have to say forcefully have to say only the good qualities of me, only the positive attributes of me. You understand? But the question here is, "Kime kam deva tam loke," which is the supreme God. "Kime kam deva tam loke" in this world, which is the supreme Lord, deity, 
विच इज अ सुप्रीम डेटी किमेकम दैवतम लोके किम वाप्येक पारायण विच इज द हाइयेस्ट गोल सेकेंड क्वेश्चन विच इज द हाइयेस्ट गोल वाट डू वी नीड टू अचीव इन गोल अचीव एज द हाइयेस्ट गोल किम वाप्येक पारायण स्तुवंत कम हु नीड्स टू बी प्रेस्ड विच इज द डेटी दट इज टू बी वर्शिप कम अर्चंद who ne who and kime kam daiva kim ab stuvan tak kam kam archanda prapnu yer manava shubham to attain what we want and kime prapnu yer manava shubha ko dharma sarva dharmanam which is the greatest dharma in your opinion ko dharma sarva dharma out of all dharmas which is the greatest dharma ko dharma sarva dharmanam bhavata paramo matah in your in your view opinion kim japan muchate jantur janma samsara bandana by by reciting by by which japam by doing which japam i will get rid of any more birth any more bondage any more problem suffering of the in this world with this birth and death and birth and death is a vicious cycle how how many births i am going to get i don't know but which is the japam i need to do by which i can get rid of and bishma answers all these questions in a beautiful manner he answers not in the same order whenever we get question paper in the exam we look at the question oh my god it's so tough first question second question oh the second question equally tough so when we see the sixth question which is easy and that what we studied so first we answer the sixth question then we go in the reverse order so that by the time we will gain confidence and then we will attempt the first question so bishma takes everything in the reverse order bishma answers the questions almost in a reverse order so also why he did that because one answer will lead to the another that's why not because he did not understand the question he wanted to guide yudhishthira into the answers one by one so she says first the answer to the question number 6 which is the japam the means that will bring about release from samsarik afflictions the bondage the karma vasana the future birth and death which is the one so here he talks about what so kim japan muchate jantur janma samsara bandana the chanting of the names of vishnu so bishma vacha he says we will talk about in the next week the chanting of the names of vishnu who is the supreme deity and purushottama should be done the japam of vishnu should be done for obtaining the release from bondage release from samsara release from any more birth and death from all the suffering from the samsarik afflictions so bishma starts that and then for the question number 4 which is which is the deity whose names are to be chanted question number 4 stuvanta kam kamar chandaha prapnu yer manava shubham kam kamar chandaha shri krishna bhagavan vishnu he is the one to be worshiped and meditate upon with intense bhakti and that is question number 4 and then he talks about the the third question which is which is the deity to be worshiped the names of bhagavan are to be chanted and krishna are to be worshiped and then he talks about the fifth question which is which is the highest dharma ko dharma sarva dharmanam bhavata paramo matah which is the highest dharma in your opinion bishma because bishma is an elder jnani vairagi anushtata bhakti yogi so in your opinion which is the greatest of all dharma he says it is my considered opinion the recitation of bhagavan's names chanting of bhagavan's names is the highest dharma and that's the fifth question then the second question which is the highest goal what is the purpose of life what is it that we need to attain highest 
and then he says realization of the supreme tatvam realization of the lord which is of great effulgence the param jyoti the param chudar the paramatma is the supreme goal the realization of his that's the supreme goal and of course first one is the which is the supreme deity kimekam daivatam loke here he says devaki sutaha this devaki son krishna is the cause of the universe he is the creator he is the one who creates all of us who brings out all of us and he is the supreme deity he says from from a study of this introduction we can find out that the fundamental doctrine of our sanatana dharma which is declared by the upanishads which is declared in bhagavad gita which is declared in veda vedanta which is declared in puranas and itihasas and all other religious text whom you can think of the the alvars the saints who the rishis shrimad bhagavatam vishnu puranam wherever it is as propounded by all our acharyas of the whether it is adi shankara or madhva or ramanuja all our acharyas and that is is being enlisted in this vishnu sagasnama the vedas reveal that bhagavan narayana and bhagavan bhagavati lakshmi the divine couple are together as the supreme supreme reality the purusha suktam which is found in all vedas it says hrishchate lakshmi chapatnyau o vishnu the purushan the purushan it it talks only about purushan sagasra sirisha purushaha sagasraksha sagasrapat sabhumim vishvato vritva he he manifests everywhere he is there he has got thousands of heads he has got thousands of hands thousands of legs thousands of feet and who is he his spouse or mahalakshmi and bhudevi shri devi and bhudevi hrishchate lakshmi scha patnya and that's the highest goal that's the paratattva that's the paramahita that's the parama purushartha paratattva he is the supreme entity he himself is the is the way is the means is the route to which we have to go to him his feet are the are the means his names are the means by reciting his names by chanting his names we please him and we reach him at the end we will talk more next week kavitarki kasimhaya kalyana gunashalini shrimate venkateshaya vedanta gurave namaha we will have the introduction stotrams and the preface everything the explanation next week dhanyoshme adiyan नमो नारायण नमो नारायण